thinking, what you gotta cooking, what you gotta cook it, cause I'm hoping hard it be me hiding in your favorite recipe. Hiding in your favorite recipe. Hi, this is Cooking for Bachelors, Cooking for Love, the dating game show. I'm Jill Ferris, and we've all heard that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Well, we have three beautiful contestants that are going to cook a meal to win the heart of The Bachelor. Let's introduce him now. George, come out. Well, hello, how Good are you today? You hey. So how do you feel being here and having three lovely women cook you a meal to win your heart? Oh, it's very exciting. This is finally the day, it's finally happening. <laughs> so I'm very excited, you know, I have a passion for food and for the ladies. Hi, I'm George and I'm 35 years old, live here in uh, Manhattan, New York. My tastes range pretty drastically. I like um, southern comfort food, I love high-end steakhouses, and I love uh, going out to eat and dating uh, lovely ladies. So, Jill, you're the best. Don't you think it's very nice of me to hook up all these people? I'm now cook matchmaker. I think we should do a show for me, cooking for cougars. Anyway, I didn't say that out loud. We put George in seclusion and we played his tape for the girls who are all excited about cooking for him. So we're gonna meet them now. Let's introduce Chloe. Hi, Hi Chloe. How are, you? how are you? Good, good. So are you excited today about cooking for George? I am very excited. He seems like a very nice and handsome guy. Well, great, that would be nice. And what are you gonna cook? I am going to cook my spicy lasagna. Terrific. I just met George um, through the video, of course, and he seems very, very, you know, likable. He's very handsome, very personable, so I'm very excited to meet him. Well, at the end. Um, and I believe that I will win over his heart with my spicy lasagna. Um, it's very hot, very, um, a lot of herbs, a lot of gusto in it. <laughs> so um, hopefully it melts his heart away. And now, let's meet Kiki. I'm Kiki, and I'm a writer and an attorney. I think that George and I would be pretty compatible because we both have southern roots, and he mentioned that he loves seafood, which is my specialty. So that's what I'm gonna cook tonight, and that's why I think that I don't really have any competition uh, today, so we'll see. Now let's meet our third bachelorette, Natasha. Hello, Natasha, how are you? Hi, Jill. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being on yes, the show yes, and yes. taking a chance. Yes, hopefully. So, what do you think about George? I'm excited. He looks good. I'm a business associate in Mount Sinai Hospital, but here today, I'm here to find my man. And I met George only through TV, but I can't wait to meet him in person because he looks like, you know, he likes a little chunk chunk, if you know what I mean, you know? So, um, I think, you know, I can make him happy. I'm a vegetarian, but I'm willing to cook meat for my man. So today I'm going to make a chicken Caesar salad, which everything is from scratch. And I got some good seasoning in that chicken Caesar salad. So I think I can impress him even though I'm a vegetarian. So hopefully, George, you better pick me. sauteed garlic, yes. onion, mm -hmm. then you put the meat in. Then I added the meat, added some pepper, salt and pepper, and then I let it simmer for a little bit. Let it get brown, let, let the meat cook. Then I added the pureed um, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Let that boil for a little bit, and then I added some fresh parsley. And oh, but did you add your basil yet? Not yet. I'm going to add that when I'm just about to bake it, when I put okay. the meat, then I put the basil, because it comes out. I like the, um, the fresh, not right, cause too cooked. Because if you cook, cook it too much, in basil, you'll, you'll lose the flavor. Exactly, exactly. So sensitive. I want to have that later. But now I'm going to add, add some a little bit of wine. There's we go, that beautiful Rioja again. This is, this is a very nice wine. And this is a wine that actually the wine company suggests mm -hmm. we serve with the lasagna. And we're also going to use a little to cook. So here we have um, a stick of butter that's been melted and brown, <gasps> yummy. This is gorgeous. Can you see this? This is butter, pancetta, and garlic. Yes. Like, that so is good. the ticket right there. Mm -hmm. That is the love, mm -hmm. right? Can you smell that? Mm-hmm. So, 
gonna go ahead and pour all of this into our rigatoni, into our pasta. Uh -oh. and basically, because it's like fresh pasta, fresh um, pancetta and butter, we don't really need any salt, because it's all in there. And the cheese also has a lot of and salt. And the cheese has too. Salt, so. I love my food. <laughs> 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 Here come the cheese. This is the, the main attraction, the star <laughs> of the show. That's right the here. other half of the mac and cheese part. Yeah. And I don't scrub on the cheese. I want lots of yeah. cheesy goodness. Well, if you're gonna eat mac and cheese, you might as well go all the way. That's my mom. You know? Go all, go the, all way. the way. You know, eating everything is what you should do. Eat it all. Eat it all. Just eat in moderation. But eat everything, eat what you enjoy. So really, this is pretty easy, actually, yes. right? It's, it sounds easy, but it, it hurts me to fry this poor chicken, but I'll do anything for my man. Okay? So you <laughs> yes, but it really oh, hurts my heart oh, to fry this poor chicken. Now that is really something, okay? All right, I'm tasting it. Fingers I'm gonna taste crossed. it for George to make sure that it's good enough for him. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and I'd like how you put the basil in at the very last minute so oh, thank that it would you, just thank you. wilt. Mmm. Mmm. the verdict. Mmm. It was delicious. Thank you. I can taste all the ingredients. It's very hearty. Love, love all the melted cheese. This is going to be great. Mm. Well, hopefully George feels the same way about it. Terrific. Okay. Kiki, you were really ambitious. I think out of all our contestants, you really made the most. The ultimate mac and cheese. Here it is. Mmm. 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 That's delicious. It has everything that you want. Mmm. Wonderful. And now the shrimp with your little sauce. A little special sauce. What's in the sauce? can't tell you. It's a whole family recipe. Very, uh... It's a traditional seafood sauce from like the mid-Atlantic area. A lot of people do it. Mm. It's ketchup-based, mayonnaise-based. The texture of the shrimp is perfect. It's Thank nice you. and soft and succulent and delicious, and the coating just is a nice little crispy edge. I love it. I love it. I hope George loves it. And you chose to serve him... A nice dry pinot. Pinot from Long Island, Suru Wineries. Very nice. Sophisticated, I like it. Very nice, I think that will go lovely. Let's see how the Caesar came out. That's pretty perfect. It is? Mm-hmm. And chicken. your chicken? Very good. Okay. You think For so? someone who doesn't cook chicken, this is very good. And I think what I saw you doing was you flavored the eggs and soaked them in the egg first before you wow. breaded them and then fried them up. And this is really great. And what did you decide to serve with it? Diamante semi-sweet wine. Okay, so this is uh, also white Rioja. And uh, we hope that George loves everything. So, so let's get him out here and have him pick a stage. Yes. We'd like to thank Chambord Liqueur from France, Vibrant Rioja, Wines of Spain, New York and Company, SuruWines.com, Alpha Dog the Book by Wing Girl Kim, Under the Covers by Kiki Rockstar. So George, you've been secluded for a while while the I girls have. were cooking. You must be hungry. I'm starving. Looks, this looks like they gave you just what you like. So hey, without further ado, lasagna, go ahead and I taste must, it. This looks fantastic. All right, lasagna, one lasagna. of my favorites for sure. Okay. And let's see, um, she served it to you with this Candy Valdemar and uh, Rioja. It's actually Rioja week. Very good. Very good. You know what? A little smoky taste, maybe. Yes, it's a little spicy. A little mm -hmm. spicy, smoky. Mm -hmm. I like that. I've never yeah, had like very, that. Yes. Very good. I'd like to know how this is also. How does that taste? Fabulous. Right up my alley. Nice and rich. Okay. Now we have mac and cheese. We heard you mention mac and cheese. Some fried shrimp and collard greens. Wow. This bachelorette is appealing <laughs> to your southern soul. Yes, indeed. And um, I think I think you'll like this. Let's see, she's serving it with a Pinot Grigio from Long Island. Mmm. That's a mac. That's the mac daddy mac and cheese. <laughs> That's good. It's very rich. 
Uh-huh, very cheese, red. very sharp, I should say. There's a sautéed collard greens as opposed to boiled for hours collard greens. Definitely like that. And. And shrimp. <laughs> My goodness. With a secret sauce. She would, she would not give us a recipe. No? Nope. See if I can tell you. Okay. Doesn't get much better than that. That's fantastic. <laughs> Is it, yeah. Oh, that's very good. And here you go. Caesar salad. Okay. With chicken breast or chicken Caesar. You're very right. Did Authentic. a pretty good job, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Success across the board. So now what are we going to do? So stay tuned to see who George picks. George, I know it's a tough decision, but yes. what do you have to say? Well, I've made my choice and, uh, you know, I feel good about it. And it is? Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, you want to know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the uh, the shrimp with the macaroni and cheese and the collard greens. That was my favorite. You know, all of these games are real. The Bachelor has not seen the Bachelorettes yet, so let's introduce you to who you didn't choose first. Okay. Uh, Chloe, would you like? Chloe made the lasagna. She made a delicious oh. smoky lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you missed out. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but I must say, the, the lasagna was fantastic. Thank you. Let's introduce Natasha. Natasha made the Caesar salad with the chicken. <laughs> A pleasure to meet nice you, Natasha. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that was fantastic. Thank I you. love from it's scratch Caesar. Yes, thank you. And Sorry. the chicken was very good, too. You are very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, and you're gorgeous. Too. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> and now to introduce the bachelorette you did choose. Okay. And you chose her by the food that she made for you. Yes. To prove that a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Let me introduce to you Kiki. <laughs> Kiki? Yes, Kiki. <laughs> Kiki. Hi. How are Hello. You? Oh. <laughs> We're going to be giving you some gifts. Um, first of all, the ladies' outfits are from New York and Company. And we are going to give this beautiful bottle of shampoo to enjoy on your first date. Thank you. Hey, girls. Ironically enough, you will both be getting a copy of Under the Covers Actually Written by Geeky Rockstar. <laughs> so, cooking for bachelors, cooking for love is proof that a way to a man or woman's heart is through their stomach. So cook with love and you shall receive. Where do you draw that line? A pinch of salt, a dash of spice. Ooh, we're gonna make that dinner taste fine. Ooh, we're gonna make that dinner taste fine. Ooh, we're gonna make that dinner I say. Hey, good looking, what you gotta cook and what you gotta cook it? Cause I'm hoping high.